From trafficking humans to laundering money, the wealthiest criminal syndicates are infamous for a wide range of heinous activities, including murder, drug trade, and even porn. The most surprising fact about these wealthy criminal gangs is that they can commit any crime with ease because of their power. Check out the top four richest criminal organizations and their staggering net worth. Number 4. Sinaloa Cartel – $39 billion At the height of its power, the Sinaloa Cartel reigned supreme as the biggest drug cartel in Mexico, raking in a staggering $39 billion from drug trafficking. Acting as the primary link between South American drug suppliers and the insatiable American market, the cartel operated in over 50 countries worldwide. However, it was their domination of the booming American drug trade that brought them the bulk of their fortune. The Sinaloa cartel's unprecedented success is a testament to their cunning tactics and ruthless determination in the face of law enforcement. A ruthless cartel smuggling vast quantities of drugs, from marijuana to methamphetamines, into the United States by the truckload. By 2015, U.S. officials confirmed that this notorious group, known as Sinaloa, was reaping in billions of dollars in annual revenue by dominating drug markets across almost every state. But unlike other crime syndicates that resort to brutal tactics, the Sinaloa cartel was primarily concerned with drug trafficking and rarely inflicted violence on innocent civilians. Number 3. The Medellin Cartel – $70 billion the Medellin Cartel of Colombia is one of the most well-known and infamous crime organizations. It was established by a notorious drug lord and had a devastating impact on the country during its reign of terror. The cartel held so much power that it essentially functioned as a separate government entity and engaged in violent activities to achieve its political objectives. These activities included bombings, kidnappings, indiscriminate murders of law enforcement officials, and several targeted assassinations of politicians. During his reign, Pablo Escobar established and led the Medellin Cartel, which became one of the most lucrative and structured drug cartels in Colombia until its eventual demise. The organization built an extensive network by collaborating with other drug traffickers in Colombia, forming a powerful group focused on drug trafficking and other drug-related offenses with Escobar at the helm. At the height of its power, the Medellin cartel dominated the cocaine industry and generated a staggering $420 million every week, which made its leader one of the wealthiest people on the planet. For seven consecutive years, Escobar was even included in Forbes' list of billionaires. During his prime, the drug kingpin earned up to $60 million daily from drug trafficking, as the cartel smuggled multiple tons of cocaine into different countries on a weekly basis. Escobar and his associates had a surplus of money that they couldn't exhaust, and he used some of it to purchase extravagant houses solely for the purpose of hiding his money. He frequently organized extravagant parties, and he earned a reputation as a generous figure similar to Robin Hood, constructing schools, hospitals, and stadiums in the Medellin area. Number 2. The Sicilian Mafia – $79 billion Italy is known for having a significant number of mafias and criminal organizations compared to other European countries. In the past, Italy was a hub for mafia-related crimes and violence, but the government took measures to curb their activities in the late 20th century. Despite these efforts, these criminal groups continue to exist, and they have now evolved into complex networks that even the Italian government finds difficult to detect. The Sicilian Mafia, also known as Cosa Nostra in Italy, is an Italian criminal organization that has been around for over 200 years, starting in the early 1800s. Initially, it began as a movement for social justice in response to the ill-treatment of southern Italians by the fascist regime in Italy. However, due to continued persecution by the authorities, the movement eventually transformed into a fully-fledged mafia. In the 1920s, they worked together with government factions against the fascist administration by carrying out killings and sabotage. However, the fascist administration attempted to stop their operations. The main members of the group escaped to the U.S. and Canada and continued to carry out anti-government activities, while also recruiting new members from abroad. By the 1950s, Cosa Nostra, meaning our thing in Italian, had become the most dominant criminal organization in the United States, specializing in drug trafficking and various narcotics. The mafia started to penetrate legal areas of the economy including labor unions, and became a significant force in New York's garment industry. 
Today, the Mafia has a large membership spread globally, totaling in the hundreds of thousands, and is estimated to have a net worth of $79 billion. Number 1. Yamabuchi Gumi $80 billion If you have knowledge of the Japanese Yakuza, particularly from movies depicting crime in Japan, then you may already be acquainted with the Yamabuchi Gumi. This organization is similar to what you've seen and is the biggest Yakuza faction in Japan. It's named after its creator, Harukichi Yamaguchi. It all started with an informal labor organization formed by dock workers in Co. before World War II. But today it has transformed into one of the largest international criminal networks, which also happens to be the wealthiest. The group generates most of its revenue through activities such as extortion, gambling, sex industry, trafficking of weapons and drugs, kickback scams in real estate and construction. They are also involved in online pornography and manipulating financial markets. The Yamabuchi Gumi, with its headquarters located in Kobe, Japan, earns an average of $6.6 .6 billion. So that's it for today's video. Subscribe and turn on notifications.